This is Record Royale, where we throw two albums into the ring with one another and see which one comes out on top. Really getting into reading. <laughs> really? Lately. I've been reading yeah, books. Right. Yeah. How's that going? Every like night. Fiction or documentary? Like a documentary. No. Autobiography. Documentary. <laughs> like autobiographies. Yeah. And which ones? Wi- autobiographies is written by the person. By the yeah. Person. Autobiographies yeah. is yeah. 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 yeah autobiographies. Um, have you heard of a, the dude called David Goggins? Like the, um, used to be like a Navy SEAL. Anyway, it's just like this men or well, not mental, but. He had the shittest, like, early life, and then he was super fat, lost 100 pounds in three months, and then joined the Navy what? SEALs. Anyway, his book is, like, unreal. It's like, he, it just made me want to go for a run every single day. Whoa. Like, just the most, just, like, Inspiring. biggest motivational hey, book. I'll tell you a good biography to read. Keith Richards' biography. <laughs> biography like or autobiography? Auto, it's an autobiography. It's the opposite. It's just like <laughs> how he just com- continually just like did the most fucked things ever for years and years. And then, but like never really saw, there was just <laughs> never issues. Like he just kept doing, he kept winning, but doing the craziest stuff. <laughs> and he just hasn't Damn. really faced any responsibility for it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing in that, in that respect. <laughs> I've got the Kobe one here that I've like. Oh, had a hundred pages through that I I stopped for some reason, even though I definitely should read it. No. Oh, I saw it the other day at yeah. the bookshop. I was going. I was thinking about getting that. Yeah. Do you know? Have you heard of the? There's a dude called Shea Serrano. No, nope. he's like an author. Um, he's done. He's done books on. He's got a book called The Book of Basketball, and it's just oh no, not the Book of Basketball. It's like everything you need to know about basketball or something. Right. And it's Whoa. just all this that like stats so and facts. It sounds so good. But he's also done a book like about The Office and about scrubs oh really like tv shows and stuff yeah that's sick yeah um, right. looks pretty sick yeah should definitely get on that i reckon mm. but yeah i'm currently reading uh, a chris jericho autobiography oh sick Whoa. yeah what's how yeah what's he's come up like just oh well, he's he's written like four books this is the fourth one and it's more just like stories of mm. how he wins pretty much <laughs> <laughs> like and makes him like motivational but they're not really they're more just him just winning it's just like damn chris jericho <laughs> you can do whatever you, he wants i feel like yeah, a, a great book would be any member of metallica any i have all. like yeah i have a metallica book but it's more just about the band they would have so many himself. crazy stories right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh metallica <laughs> isn't like the classic um band or oh, artist musician autobiography the anthony Kiedis one oh have you read that brad oh, i've read yes. that yeah I, I've read if you that. both read it yeah I, I i got it i gotta start reading Holy it. shit, that's crazy <laughs> lots of drugs <laughs> lots of lots of drugs very early yeah he yeah was, he was doing cocaine and i was playing Yu Gi Oh. it's pretty yeah. nuts because his dad like, <laughs> like yeah, made him sell it didn't he yeah don't think he made him sell it i think he just had it like at his house all the time and i think Anthony Kiedis was just kind of like allowed to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly. No that good, is no, no good, no. Very oh! Su- very, oh, there you go. Uh, very surprised that he became successful, really. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like a recipe look at him for instruction. Mm. For sure. Yeah, I was going to actually ask, because there's a little segue into today's episode. Who was the first band you two saw live? Uh, um, mine. My, you got him, yeah. First band I saw, technically, like, the first gig was at the Sydney Royal Easter Show with my parents <laughs> and my cousin, actually, when I was, like, t- t- like 11 or 12, probably. Mm. Or oh, maybe even younger. Maybe, like, 10. And it was something with numbers. Do you guys remember them? No. <laughs> they were, like, kind of emo. Era. They were kind of an emo band, like, early 2000s. Something with numbers. Definitely That's remember the band. name, though. You would um, know... There's one of their tracks, Apple of, of My Eye, I think it's called, is to this day a great track. Okay, that definitely rings a bell here. I'll yeah, yeah. I, you would know it. Yeah. But the, the first, like, that was kind of like, just came across it concert. Like, there mm-hmm. wasn't, we didn't go there to go see Who them. was the first band, like, you first went band to go see? I was, pay, like, paid to go see. Yeah. Was them Crooked Vultures. 
<laughs> really? Yeah. Crazy. What? With my mum. Whoa. <laughs> that is epic. Where was it that at? Was at the fucking Horton Pavilion. Yeah, right. That'd be so good. Great stay How old life. were you? Ah, uh, like, yeah. Well, whenever that album came out, I don't know. Actually, no. Twenty eleven. Yeah. So maybe would have been like yeah, early early high school for sure. Sick. But like there weren't gigs in Orange, so it was kind yeah. of. Had to go I was see pretty pretty late yeah, to the true. game, really. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. What was yours, Brad? Um, I saw my brothers being played when I was in like year six. <laughs> nice. They were called Sight for Blinded Eyes. Um, and they were like a just a hardcore band, and it was at the church in Hamilton, <laughs> like near um, kind of near the exchange. There's that church on the other side. Oh yeah, the, it was in there. What was that? Yeah. used to call um, and they had the all ages. Oh no, yeah, not there. It's like a, below that. Right. Okay. Yeah, the Commons. Yeah, it was below yeah, the Commons. Like, yeah. 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 Who was the first band you went out of your way to see though? Um, well, Soundwave. I went to Soundwave twenty what twenty eleven, I think. Yeah. So probably yeah, probably that Soundwave. Or I remember seeing Parkway Drive really young. Well, as well. That's probably like a first gig. I don't know about a festival, but yeah, Parkway awesome. Drive. Let's go. What's, what's went, yours, went my brother? Yeah, yours Metallica. I'm guessing. Of course, it's Metallica. Yeah, and that's so right. Sick. It's Metallica. <laughs> Saw Metallica. It was called Ace Arena back then. What's it called now? Kudos Bank Kudos, Arena yeah. Kudos. in Sydney. Yeah, it was on their Death Magnetic tour in 2010. That's and I was so just sweet. like, what the fuck is going on? This is so <laughs> cool. They would have had to play for like three hours, wouldn't they? Yeah, at least two. Lamb of God supported them. So <laughs> technically, Lamb of God were the first band I ever saw. And I was like, what is this music? <laughs> this is so loud. Were you in the Even though I was there for Metallica. Nah, much. I wasn't in the mosh. I was with my brother. And then Dude. he went again the next night Man. and he went the mosh the next night. Whoa. That would yeah. Two but then, nights of Metallica. So that is yeah. a big couple days. I wish I did that. Yeah, but then I saw Metallica again, Soundwave 2013. Yeah. And that's when... And because of that, I also saw Linkin Park, Slayer, <laughs> A Perfect Circle because they all played before Metallica and that's we just so waited. Sick. Perfect Circle. Perfect. So, so is so that Jay, James Maynard? Is that the guy from Tool? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. If I had my time again, though, that Soundwave 2013 lineup was. Yeah, you didn't say Blink. Insane. Blink, Paramore, The Offspring. Uh, God, so many other bands. But it would have been impossible to see everyone. Yeah. But I can't believe I didn't say Blink, though. <laughs> That's so sick. I <laughs> wish I went insane. to one of the Soundwaves. Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And yeah, Metallica, we're doing Metallica. It's finally Metal Week. It's taken 27 weeks. Yes. But we've, we're here. We've been in discussion for it for a while. <laughs> it's always yeah. been on the cards, but we just haven't, like gone for it yeah definitely haven't gone for it we could have gone heavier but we need we actually okay we are calling out to everyone listening if you want some heavier metal week metal week part two mm. let us know who you want because we've stuck this is like early metal this is just quint this, this is just classic yeah this is, this classic. is a classic metal yeah we need to do metallica that's obvious but yeah if you got like mastodon versus <laughs> fucking oh. God knows. Let us know. Lamb of God. Oh, oh Jesus God. Christ. But uh, yeah, we're here. Metallica, Metallica, and Megadeth. Um, is this your first time listening to these two albums in full, both of you? Yeah. Um, I would say in full. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, like Rod right Lightning's like always. It's got them classic tracks on it. Yeah. But yeah. I'll say start to finish. But then again, I would say I've heard all these tracks before. Just never. Yeah. Like in one sitting. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. What about, what about Megadeth? Yeah, Holy Walls was the only track that I knew. That was it. So. Yeah. Me- Did you know any of them, Adam? Meg- I didn't know any of Megadeth. Like I've True. never, I've never listened to Megadeth before. Knew <laughs> of them, but I, I like I knew the Metallica. I'm the same as Brad. I knew like most of these tracks anyway. But I don't think I've ever sat down to listen to Ride the Lightning. Mm. I, I was always a Master of Puppets guy. Same. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Because that is their best it album. It is a great album. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I it's really weird. I have this Megadeth album on vinyl. It's just like, really? What? Really? Yeah, because I remember it was at JB for like twenty five yeah, bucks. I was like, I'm like just the, the bargain bin. Eh? Yeah, so I was many, like, I'm like, just gonna crazy, get it. <laughs> crazy it's really, um, album covers as well. It's really weird. It's such a weird album. It's I, so weird. Yeah, it, it's it's weird. It's I don't know if it's aged too well. <laughs> no, we'll get into uh, it. Yeah. yeah, but there's like parts of it that are almost like memey. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is, that kind of does translate to today. <laughs> In a weird <laughs> way. Weird. Not that I think that was their intention, but like, there's even some parts of the Metallica album. I'm like, 
was this a thing in the 80s, <laughs> ni- like early 90s? Yeah. Like, what, what is the go? Anyway, we'll get into it. Yeah. Let's uh, smash through the little facts. So, Metallica. So happy we're doing Metallica. Mm. All right, they're formed in LA in 1981, but they've been, they've been based in San Francisco since uh, 82. Uh, at the time of this album, James Hetfield, vocalist, guitarist, Lars Ulrich, Ulrich uh, on the drums, Kirk Hammett on the guitar, they are still members of the band, and Cliff Burden was the bassist. He was the one that died in mm. the bus crash. crash yeah. They were on tour... Fuck, I can't remember what country. I want to say like the Ukraine or Sweden yeah, or something. Yeah, mm. somewhere weird, weird in Europe for sure. Yeah, and their bus crashed and Cliff mm. Burton died. And Kirk Hammett has said like they swapped seats so he would have died. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty insane. But uh, yeah, at, but now it's Rob Trujillo mm. is the bassist. But yeah, Cliff Burton at <laughs> the time of this album. Dave Mustaine of Megadeth was their original lead guitarist mm. until they kicked him out in May of 1983 for drug and alcohol abuse right. and they have had a very well documented beef between <laughs> these two bands for 30 years mm. i think they're chill now we were saying before because they have played shows together and stuff but yeah dave mustaine not not metallica's biggest fan for sure when did when did kill em all come out was, was he a part of that or not yeah, yeah he, he yeah he wrote like all the songs on that wow. when it came out when it came out though I'm pretty sure they'd already kicked him out by then. He he has a uh, he has writing credits on Ride the Lightning, the track. Yeah, True. on Ride the Lightning and um, the Call of Cthulhu, the last yeah. song. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. So Ride the Lightning was their second studio album, released on the 27th of uh, July 1984 by Mega Force Records. <laughs> Everything is mega or, or, or metal or metal, yeah. <laughs> so sick. Uh, it was recorded in three weeks with with producer Fleming Rasmussen at uh, in Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, that he or Fleming, I'm not going to say his last name again. He also did Master of Puppets and and Justice for All. Three singles: Fade to Black, Creeping Death, For Whom the Bell Tolls. The album peaked at 48 in the US, 87 in the UK, and 38 in Australia. Um. It's Rolling Stone's 11th best album of all time, just like period. <laughs> really? And yep, and IGN's fifth best metal album album of all time. Did you say best album of all time? Best yeah, album of all time. <laughs> yeah, no, Rolling Stone's like, 11th best album. It was Rolling Stone, so rock and roll, baby. Yeah, but they've put some weird albums on their list. <laughs> Didn't they have Miley Cyrus like high up? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's cooked. So, that's, but yeah, yet respect. again. What is their process? Oh, I, <laughs> we say it every week. We we gotta we we gotta get some merch on this or something. Cause like oh, seriously, so Rolling Stone. I don't understand it. What's the go? Anyway, Rolling Stone's top fourteen thousand three hundred sixty-one <laughs> albums of all time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do Megadeth. Also formed in LA in '83 after Mustaine was booted from Metallica. Uh, time of this album: Dave Mustaine, vocalist, guitarist; David Ellefson. Elofson, bassist, <laughs> Marty Free- Friedman, guitarist, and Nick Menza drums. I think they were like the four like core members or like the best lineup. That's what people say. Uh, Rust in Peace, this album was their fourth <laughs> studio album. <laughs> Ru- you laughing at Rust in Peace? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was <laughs> released on 24th of September 1990, so a few years after Ride the Lining, by Capitol Records. They were like massive, Capitol Records. Mm. Um Produced by Dave Mustaine, actually, and Mike Klink, who also worked with Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Heart. So, a lot of the big bands around this time. Mm-hmm. Two singles, Holy Wars, The Punishment Jew, and Hang... Is it Hanger? <laughs> Hanger? Hanger? 18? Hanger. Hanger. Hanger, yeah. Hanger. It's Hanger, right? Yeah. Hanger. Hanger. Yeah. Hanger. yeah, Hanger. Cool. Hanger 18, the first two songs in the album. Uh, the best songs in the album. Yeah, uh, peaked at 23 in the US, 8 in the UK, and 47 in Australia. So, it did like reasonably pretty well for a big metal album <laughs> it was nominated for best metal performance at the grammys it lost to metallica's cover of stone cold crazy by queen <laughs> <laughs> yeah what? yeah I, I don't know i don't know if that was the album or a particular song but yeah metallica's cover beat this album that's hilarious K- kerrang's magazine's 11th best album of 1990 and ign's fourth best metal album ever so it beat rather lightning by one on that one what was the best? Cool. Was the best Master of Puppets? Oh, I didn't. I didn't write it down. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it would have been Master of Puppets. Be. IGN. I thought they were like a gaming. <laughs> yeah, that's website. Cool. Yeah, what? Yeah. Guess a lot of gaming know. boys like their metal as well. 
So you know, it's not so just run down facts. Uh, <laughs> let's get into the elements. Let's do it. Okay, so you two said before it's your first time listening to this album. I'm going to straight off the bat ask you a question. What did you think of... Actually, no, let me re- rephrase this. The last song, The Call of Cthulhu, going in, did you know that that was an instrumental track? <laughs> no, I didn't I know knew there was all. something different about it because I remember it's like this one and what's the one of Master Puppets, the last track? Orion. Yeah. No, 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 it's not the last no, track. No, Damage Inc, isn't it? Yeah, but that's not yeah. instrumental though. Yeah. Well, I, I always get Orion and the Call of Cthulhu mixed up. Yeah. So. What'd I you knew, think? I what'd you think of the big instrumental? It's um, like... It's not a bit crazy. of a... Yeah. It's pretty... pretty. I at the end, I like un- the end. Uneventful. The end, like, yeah, it's kind of just a big drawn out... Because you've just had like a full album of just guitar solos everywhere. And you just get another big... <laughs> big track of guitar solos. That is you're true. Kind of like, that is true. From like you kind of already, I don't know how to say it, but you, you've already like had all these guitar solos come at you, so you you're not like as surprised by them anymore. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I, I I listened to the Metallica album first, and I think that actually also took away from Megadeth's album because it was obviously Megadeth's album is just guitar solos everywhere. More guitar, it's crazy, <laughs> and they're so, so good. Much guitar. But I think like. Because I, I'd already like conditioned myself to the guitar solo. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of like, oh, impressed. yep, there's another one. Sick. <laughs> yeah. You became a guitar solo. Yeah. I think the Call of Cthulhu, though, is so like musically impressive. It, it is and, very impressive, yeah. yeah. And the end, how it like, it kind of builds gets to up this elevation, and, then comes mm. back down and then just hits you with some big, like, massive chords. Yeah. I'm so glad that for at least that song, they didn't do a bloody fade out. Oh yeah, my there was God. a lot of fade outs. Hey, yeah. I think that's the only track. Is that the only track on the album that is not a fade out? No, no. Ride the Lightning doesn't. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, it's like yeah, Fade to boys. Black has a Fade to Black. I reckon, that's fair I reckon, they can have that one. They can have that yeah. one. I reckon every band has. They get one. Yeah, <laughs> you're allowed one per album. <laughs> do it again. No good. Oh, yeah, they do. Just, use a just couple. means you didn't figure out how to end it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cheat code. It's just it? a cheat code that they they went back to a few too many times. <laughs> oh my god! In saying um, that though, I, I yeah. definitely I love this Metallica album. Yeah, God, it's like far far as far as the absolute. It's so good. Best. It's so good. It's when kids when kids ask me like when I'm teaching, they're like, "What's the fastest song? Either I know how to play or like you can play on like yeah. the speaker for me." I'm like, "Oh." I got just the thing for you. And I put on fire, fire with fire and they're like, what the fuck is this? Because <laughs> they're eight and they've never heard this. They think mm. it's like insane. And it is insane. It yeah. still is insane. I was Especially like the acoustic guitar at the start. It's yeah. so yeah. misleading. The, I'll actually say, I, I do like the acoustic guitar on that and like how it, only because it ends and like comes in so heavy after it. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't a massive fan of Fade to Black. I've never been a big fan of uh, Fade I, to Black. I think I used to be yeah. as a kid. Yeah, same with me. That used to be my favourite like, um, Metallica song. It kind of doesn't like... I, it goes for ages. And it's just kind of yeah. like... It's not what I'm listening to Metallica mm. for. You know, It's true. Mm. It, it's, it is still, to this date, one of their... Well, one of like Metallica fans' top Metallica songs. Yeah, and I, I will know. never understand and it. I, I think I liked it. Only because I was told I had to like it from YouTube and people going, this the, is um, one of the best. So I was like, oh yeah, it is. But it's not. Re- I, yeah. The guitar solo on that one oh, is say, heaps you, good. That big like guitar yeah. break with the, when the riff finally comes in, it's pretty epic. Yeah. But, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not as good as what people hold it up to I'm, be. I'm Depends. glad the, yeah. the whole acoustic guitar with heaps of chorus on it thing has left and left the building. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of that, eh? Oh yeah, it just I sounds like, like a. Did you you guys went to a Catholic school, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, sounds yeah. like every like CD of a church hymn, a like a modern church hymn. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. But that's then, true. like in saying that, you do then get a ripping guitar solo, which yeah, I would have loved that at church, but <laughs> not to be. <laughs> yeah. So good. Speaking of ripping guitar uh-huh. guitars, the opening riff on Megadeth album Holy Wars. Uh-huh. It's, iconic. it's like that's a that's a ten that's a yeah, ten for crazy. me that song that riff is just insane. There's it about is. actually like ten riffs on that song. Yeah, you could build a song around actually, and they just chucked it all in. I read a little stat when I was looking through the lyrics on Hangar 18. There's 
it's like one of the shorter i think it's one of the shorter songs or it's got the least lyrics or something it's got mm. 11 guitar solos 11 <laughs> crazy 11 yeah they, it, they just duel because both it's, it's both guitarists having to go yeah which is sick <laughs> i think that's the, always yeah i think the uh guitar solos on megadeth's album are definitely probably more impressive and like they're a lot more like even just all the chord progressions are yeah, the bit more melodic. Bit more yeah, like, very melodic. Yeah. It's going everywhere. But in saying that, I think on the Metallica's album, because they don't try to just like solo the whole time, when they do have the big guitar solo somewhere in the middle of the song, it has a bit more of an impact. For sure. Which For sure. I liked, especially on songs like um, Chapped Under Ice. Which is like, <laughs> that is three the, or four. That's like, oh, yeah, I can't that, believe I've never heard that song When before, that guitar yeah. solo comes in, oh my God. Like, like do you reckon? Actually wow. Played. Okay. okay. It just I like, think maybe because I've heard this album a bunch, but I think Trapped Under Ice, the song is so good. But I think the guitar solo at the start, it like builds up. The the lead mm. guitar is going like no no, and then the guitar solo comes in. I'm like, I knew this was coming. Mm. Come on, oh, get not, rid. Come not on, that one. Sorry, not that one. I mean the one in like the middle of the track. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, it, okay. Like, gets like a really aggressive bit, and then it stops. And Kirk Hammett's <laughs> just like the fastest guitar solo ever. You're yeah. Just like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is a very underrated Metallica song. So I good. think so good. what you said before, Megadeth, they this is such just a guitar heavy album. It is, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure all the albums are because sure. Dave Mustaine isn't the strongest vocalist. No. No. He so, is I was gonna say pretty shit house. Shit shit house and his vocal melodies are and lyrics. Like the and lyrics, lyrics. Lyrical like um at least he's got cool stories and stuff. Not actually yeah. the words. But like a lot of the time he won't like rhyme. <laughs> words yeah like the phrasing is really weird and it doesn't actually fit like rhythmically (laughs) i got some lyrics from um the song five magic which i did like this song (laughs) but the lyrics were just like what what okay so bestow upon me knowledge wizard all knowing (laughs) all wise i want to rule this kingdom make sweet the breeze now defiled Dethrone the evil prince's iron fists in velvet gloves of sin. Parade the grey-robed monks. The Whoa. vestal virgins <laughs> wheel their wivens in. <laughs> what? Whoa. Yeah. It's based on a book, huh? I think. Yeah, That's they're yeah. all based well, on You books. hope so. Oh, true. They're like, the words are big. Yeah. And I like the words, but it's, it's like, what are you talking about? I yeah, don't remember any on? vocal melodies from this yeah, song. Yeah, that's a bit... From this memorable. album, sorry. Except for the one from Take No Prisoners, how shit it is. Yeah. It's like a like the, when the lyrics first come in, got one chance, infiltrate them. Yeah. <laughs> Get it right. Yeah. Terminate them. I, I laugh uh, a lot in that. Yeah, and yeah. that's, and that's really the part. horrible as well. Is that talking yeah. about like World War Two? Is that what that's... They're talking Pri- about like... Yeah. <laughs> con- they do, uh, yeah, maybe. It's no a lot, this is the thing with this album <laughs> and a little bit on the Metallica album. It's like, I can't take much of it serious because there's no. like all the voice pitched backing vocals that make him sound like the devil. I don't yeah. know. Is that what they're going for? Yeah. To be oh, more evil? Yeah. Satan. Mm. Oh, That's song. what I was going to ask you, Sandy. Like, how's it, how's it feel, babe? Like, not a kid? Like, listen to this critically, <laughs> like compared to the good old days. Oh, it's definitely not as good as what it used Well. I still think the Metallica album holds up heaps I, well. Yeah, I really, yeah, really, really sure. well. But the I, Megadeth one is just like, whoa, what the fuck? The, yeah. Megadeth Except one. for like the first couple tracks. Hangar 18 and Holy Wars are still 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah even there's a couple of bits on Metallica album, I'm like, eh, there's so much reverb on the vocals. Yeah. Mm. So much. And it's, <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, did it's you unnecessary. Do you say Dawn Patrol was one of the best songs? No, no, no. I, <laughs> I was going to say Dawn Patrol is a bad song. <laughs> it is so bad that like weird like vocal thing that he does hey? he's just like whispering i was laughing the whole time yeah. like i was pissing myself <laughs> laughing po- it's almost like possible dump material it's not gonna be maybe but that track maybe is it's worthy is uncomfortable yeah um <laughs> the thing with these two albums and just these bands in general like the difference between them james hetfield from metallica just has such a such more ability to hit you harder with vocal yeah. performances and lyrics and melodies than mm. Dave Mustaine ever yep. will. Mm. And it's just the songs just feel way more important because of it. I think it it feels a lot. Uh, maybe it's just like the age difference because this is like a little bit earlier mm. by only a little bit, but it's kind of like a, 
the production, even though it's a lot more raw than the Megadeth one, it's kind of it's louder, I think, somehow, <laughs> and it's just like more aggressive, which I think like it, yeah, it's I not... believed it more. Whereas with yeah. the Megadeth album it was like there was like a lot of fast parts with a lot of guitar solos, but like without the big chugging and like the powerful voice, I, it didn't didn't seem that hard. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty polished <laughs> for like an old like a thrash metal album. I'd yeah, say, that's yeah. which is something that Rod Lightning isn't so much. Would yeah. you say what would your favorite? Would this be your favorite production was like Metallica album? Sandy? Or would it be Enter Sam? I mean, not Enter Sam. Uh, Enter Master Sam Puppets. Man. Enter Sam and the album. Enter Sam. Do you reckon? Yeah. I reckon Master yeah. Puppets is like I, surely the yeah, best, I, right? Ma- Master Puppets is very similar on production wise, yeah, but yeah. it is, it's got different, it, it, it's got better aspects. This is still pretty up, like perfected. raw. Yeah. For and sure. it doesn't hit you as hard as <laughs> hey, what, what about should. Injustice for All then? <laughs> <laughs> no bass. <laughs> no bass allowed. <laughs> what is up with that? Yeah, it's it's, good. it's pretty sus, but that yeah. album still goes hard. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but it's so like, Compressed because there's no bass. Almost. Yeah. Have you listened to any metal like the the most recent Metallica album? I forgot what's called. Right. Hardwired. I, I to- had like a I had a brief stint, and I, it was fat. <laughs> yeah, it's so fat, but the production it's way too clean. It's but too it's clean. really fat. There's yeah. a couple of songs in there that I like regularly listen to. Mm. I'm like, this is this still goes hard. Lyrics suck ass, but mm. the music is is good. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. Riffage. The, the riffage is there. The bass on this album. Is on the Metallica Cliff, one, Cliff Burton, is it? Yeah, was a genius. Yeah, <laughs> legit. Like, the at the start of the song "Ride the Lightning," where it's like the guitar's like and yeah. the drums Bang. just go, Bang. and the bass yeah. is just like, yeah, so fast, so fast, and, so and obviously so good. like for whom the bell tolls, maybe the oh, best classic. bass solo, uh, bass. That's riff. like. Maybe besides ever? the bass, yeah. Besides the bass on that song, that is such a simple song, yeah, and it's like it one of the best ever. <laughs> I was actually reading um, so heavy. Uh, Lars said that they use that song as reference when they want to make a song simpler, because they think that that's their best ever simple song. Right. Like that's oh, for it them. is for sure. Yeah, it's so, it's so epic. They also all <laughs> say that Escape is their least favorite song Metallica's ever done, because. That track apparently, their record label told them to do like a a safe track, even though it's still yeah. like five minutes. It's got yeah. his guitar solos <laughs> in it, but that's them trying to be safe, and they like hated it for that reason. Yeah, I'd say that's still probably the one like kind of stinker. If, oh, it's a pretty nothing. Yeah, it pretty is nothing a nothing song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. track. For but sure. it's, I think they. It's then yeah. followed by Creeping Death. Oh. Which, <laughs> oh my god! One I of love the most that iconic song. like <laughs> intros ever. <laughs> oh. Keeping death. That bridge. When I saw Metallica live the second time, <laughs> yeah. that bridge of creeping death. They, do, I think they just like do drums and bass for like mm. two minutes, and just like everyone's just going die. <laughs> <laughs> All the bogans in the crowd. It's fucking so good. So sick. Like, yeah, so yeah. much euphoria I, when that happened. I think uh, creeping death and trapped under ice are my two highlights from the album. I for think. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. yeah my, I, I I came back to this looking. Fire, fire with fire. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is so yeah. good. <laughs> I, I already knew like that track though, and I knew I loved it. But going yeah. into it, those two were ones I didn't really know, but mm-hmm. so good. For sure. Should we uh, get into the segments? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Keen as. All right. You know what's coming up. Get inked. <laughs> get inked. Alrighty, let's yeah. make some uh, tattoo ideas. I, I'll go first. My Metallica one is from Fight Fire with Fire, so the I think it could be the first line of the song. Time is like a fuse, short and burning fast. <laughs> I don't know if that's the first line actually. Anyway, so it's a little like old school alarm clock, like a analog, analog. Like we've got all the numbers on it and like yeah. the two thing, like the, the bells classic. on the top. Yeah. yeah, and there's a little bit of burning rope attached to it. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, and that's just like a little. Yeah, yeah, it's just hanging, it's like yeah. burning from the top. That's sick. Um, yeah, and then my Megadeth <laughs> one is from Five Magic, the the wizard song. Yeah. The whole song is just about wizards. So I'm just thinking like a little angry wizard with like big fists just going like wanting Whoa, to fire. That's sick. It's like a big wizard. Yeah. Like a little like classic wizard robe on. Yeah, he's got like a purple purple, purple yeah. cape with <laughs> yellow stars on it. <laughs> That'll be sick. I yeah. I, that, I got that picture so clearly in my brain. Yeah. That, was, <laughs> that, was, that was great. 
Thank okay. you. Thank you. Something that's not great is this tap. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, is it off? Oh, I didn't say what song it's off for the Metallica one. The lyric is, "Take a look to the sky before you die." It's the last Fear time the you will. Oh, yeah, Fear in the bell tells. Yeah, Fear in the bell tells. Yeah. Blackened raw, massive raw fills the crumbling sky. Shattered goal fills his soul with a ruthless cry. I, I think the song's inspired by a book about the Spanish Civil War. Um, so I was singing like a tank. I saw shattered goals. So I was singing this like some rugby league post. <laughs> like a tank. <laughs> and a tank <laughs> just like aiming and shooting a missile over the black dot. <laughs> <laughs> no. Straight down the hay diddle middle yeah, and answer right. two. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, and just for the... For the Megadeth one, uh, you know the in the the album cover, it's got the little man, like the little alien mm. in the uh, capsule. Yeah, I was singing that just like kind of on it. It's like upright, and it just says um, "Rust and Peace Polaris" down the bottom or something. It's just True. Like, yeah, not too great. Mine, mine was pretty <laughs> similar to that for uh, Megadeth. Yeah, but I had the is is Polaris. I thought Polaris was the guy above. Probably, I don't know. Is that uh, uh, that's what I took? But uh, my favorite line from that song, "Rust in Peace," was "Uh, tremble, you weaklings, cover, <laughs> uh, cower in fear. I am your ruler, land, sea, and air. Immense <laughs> in my girth, erect, I stand tall. <laughs> you immense in my girth, erect, I stand tall. I am a nuclear murderer. I am Polaris. So it was Whoa. just just that with the front guy. Yeah, like that. I think that's who is. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say that line again? Just that immense one? Just immense in my girth, erect <laughs> I stand tall. I couldn't believe it, eh? That has to be a penis <laughs> reference. What? Must has to man. be. Do you reckon it well, was? Last song of the album, he's like, fuck it, just do it. It can go in. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's put some dick references in there. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. And what's your Metallica my one? My Metallica one was from Creeping Death. You know how it's talking about, um, oh, what's it called? The... That Bible story where yeah, the, um, mm. the, the baby ring. going down the river yeah, and you had to leave like that had to be goat's blood written on your door if you <laughs> didn't want to get killed. So it was just the the chorus. So let it be written, let it be done. I've sent here by the chosen one. Let it be written, let it be done to kill the firstborn Pharaoh's son. Just that written in blood on a door on my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I That's cool. That'd be pretty That's metal. <laughs> the whole back. <laughs> so yeah, depressing. Well. Pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. There you That's go. sick. <laughs> Some pretty brutal tattoos. But that's what yeah. we get when we have Metal Week. Yeah. Sure. That's it. That's what you come here for. And let's do the pitch. <laughs> All right. Any metal related movie plots coming in? Because mine is not really movie, mine's uh, more, metal um, related. Sorcery related. Do you want to go first, Brad? Right, mine's called... Was, is it called Five Magics or Five Magic? Five Magic. Just one singular magic. Yeah. Is it? Five Magic. Oh, no, it's Magics. Magics. It is Magics. Five magics. Okay. Yeah. So, here we go. Two sorcerers by the name of Jack Tons- Thompson and Cameron Connors <laughs> attempt to use alchemy to try and resurrect their pet dog, Scooter. But the mass doesn't add up and Jack and Cameron's sorcery fails and they are blended together into one diabolical creature. In order to bring back their dog and to save themselves, Jackeron, <laughs> they're now called Jackeron because they've been blended together, must go on a journey Wait, to master the play- five magics. Who's it played by? Um, we go Johnny Stamos and, <laughs> and Ricky Gervais. <laughs> we go, that's it. What and a I got a little, ta- a little tagline. I think it's... Is it... Th- Thermo- thermatory what's it? the fire oh, it's alchemy magic sorcery wizardry master all these bring him to his knees and that's all, <laughs> that's a line in the uh, in the song as well nice so yeah I it's like pretty it. much full metal alchemist but a little bit shit switched up so, sick yeah that sounds good cool uh, mine's called Hangar 18 for the Megadeth album also <laughs> yep. so um, here we go check this out Check this out, Sony. All right, so the movie is set during World War II. The movie starts with two war pilots played by Tom Cruise and yeah. Hugh Jackman deploying for an emergency mission from their plane station at Hangar 18 to take on the Japanese invasion. During the opening scene battle, Hugh Jackman's character, Johnny Williams, is captured <laughs> and is presumed dead by Tom Cruise's character, Jackie Billings. 
Nice. We flashed to five years later with Jackie Billings being in charge of his own b- battalion. Yeah. Ba- ba- battalion. Yeah. That's right. Battalion. Yeah, yeah. Still leading the charge from Hangar 18. On a secret mission, Jackie finds himself in a situation surrounded by the Japanese armor and their leader, Johnny Williams, well, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, holy fuck. Hugh Jackman has joined the Japanese to, t- to Tom Cruise's absolute shock and the rest of Hangar 18 is... um. Yeah, the rest of the movie is just about Tom Cruise's escape and trying to get Hugh back. But in the end, he kills him and buries him at Hangar 18. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. It's pretty much James Bond Goldeneye because <laughs> 006 in that movie yeah, yeah, yeah. turns to the bad side. But with Hugh Jackman and Tom Cruise. Nice. That sounds good. Uh, thank that. you very much. My yep. uh, Mine's a psychological thriller <laughs> called uh, Trapped Under Ice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> you can probably guess where this is going. Uh, yeah. Starring Tom Hanks as Bartholomew Buttsnake, a homeless <laughs> man from the streets of New York who has nothing left to lose. He's approached by a mysterious scientist, played by Willem Dafoe, who offers him $2 million <laughs> if he's willing to undergo a special experiment. Bart takes the offer, no questions asked. As the experiment starts, Bart fears the worst as his arms are strapped down and he's placed in a cryogenic freezer. As the scientist pulls a lever, the chamber freezes over and the scene fades to black. Nice. <laughs> Bark awakes, uh, awakes in a cell of ice, alive but with no knowledge of where or when he is. Um, the rest of the movie follows Bart reflecting on his life as he descends into madness with frequent delusional <laughs> hallucinations of Willem Dafoe's character haunting him, reminding him of his mistakes. Oh my God. So, pretty dark. Trapped under ice. That's definitely ice. a psychological thriller. Yeah, it's. I don't think it gets. I don't think it gets better for Bart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's unfortunate. It just gets worse and worse. So. There you go. Well, pretty good by all around. Right? Yeah, pretty good. good yeah, I'd watch that there. if I just was like, like, just had a shocking day. I was like, fuck it. Yeah. Who? Who, who played Bart? Ah, uh, Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> I kind of started off thinking it would be like Castaway, and then got a bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> so. There you go. Oh, well, once again, that's what you get with Metal but, Week. All right, let's do... <laughs> let's do the ad. <laughs> All right, what songs are going in the uh, mega beefy playlist? Who's going first? Um, Adam, you want to yeah, go? You go. Yeah, I'll go. Um, I'll go Creeping Death for Metallica. Okay. Um, really like that. It's just like super heavy. Crazy guitar solos everywhere. Yeah, really liked it. Um, and then for Megadeth, I was going to say Hanger 18, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really liked that one and Holy Wars, as you said before. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. The best, <laughs> best tracks. Just yeah. the two best songs at the yeah, start. Just, um, just like the audacity of it. There's so many guitar solos. <laughs> That's why I like it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll continue because, yeah, I'm chucking in Holy Wars for Megadeth. Um, the riffage on that song is just insane. <laughs> it's also, it's just so much going on. And I think after the guitar solo where it's like that huge just ring out chord mm. and then the they, they keep going back in like the verse, it's like, because I don't say it, <laughs> ain't, ain't thinking it. That's so good. Um, just w- definitely the best song on the album. Yeah, and then for Metallica, I, did, I got the title track, Ride the Lightning. Yeah, that song just rips and the bass so and the heavy. drums at the start and it's just so good and that, that guitar solo goes for like two and a half minutes and I still <laughs> love it it's so good it is Jesus sick. Christ uh, I'm going to go Trapped Under Ice I think for Ride yeah. the Lightning um, I reckon that's just them at their best same with Fight Fire, Fire just like thrashy thrash metal heaps of solos guns blazing mm. um, that is such a guns blazing song guns yeah. are Going guns crazy. blazed guns equals blaze um i'm gonna go for this you guys took my two i was gonna take the two but um maybe poison was secure that was like my third little backup one yeah, i remember yeah. the drums were heaps cool in that one They're like, like heaps, yeah. heaps fast heaps heavy um nice. yeah it was like just three minutes of fury so we'll go with that beautiful <laughs> Some yep. pretty shit vocals on that song though oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> Luck most but of the end of the album. You gotta cop yeah. that. All right, cool. Smashing through it. Let's do two truths and a lie. Oh. Alrighty. Yep. 
Let's guess the lie out of these three. All right, so number one. Metallica's 2008 album, Death Magnetic, has scientifically been proven to be the loudest album of all time. <laughs> <laughs> number two. When Dave Mustaine got booted from Metallica and started Megadeth, he asked Cliff Burton, then Metallica bassist, to come join Megadeth. And apparently, Cliff heavily considered it before ultimately, obviously, declining. Mm -hmm. Number three, at 47 minutes, this is Metallica's shortest studio album. All right. I know the first one is true. Yeah. I've heard that before. Yeah. Um, it's like the highest decibel. Like. Yeah. Ever or like, yeah, like, something like that. It just yeah. is like clipping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just does red line. It's so funny. Um, ooh, okay. Do you reckon that's both them are just pretty like believable. Trying to make up for the same anger. Y yeah. No, yeah, like definitely uh, what was could it? be. What was it? We talked about it before. Had no bass. Oh, um, justice for all. Just for all. And justice for all. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon that was them just like overcompensating? That was like, <laughs> let's make this so loud and heavy. No one can ever make fun of us again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just wanted the title. That's one of the, yeah, we have the yeah. loudest album ever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Cop it. Um, um, all right, I'm going to go... Both are pretty believable. Um, and I'm not going to try and just look it up. <laughs> Unless I already have. While I was spilling then. No, I haven't. Um, I'm, that sounds... Ooh. I'm trying to think how long... Because these songs aren't too long by Metallica. Like, these are some pretty short songs like by them. Maybe that's the truth. No, I'm saying that's a lie. I, that's, I'm going to yeah. say... You're going to say that oh. it's, the sh it's, it's not the shortest album? I'll tell you a little fact. Okay. Metallica's first three albums all only had eight songs on them. See, ooh, I don't know the track list for Kill Em All too well, so I can't... I'm thinking this is shorter than Ma like Master of Puppets. So I, I reckon it's the... I reckon it is Cliff wasn't going to join Megadeth because that w that's so weird because he, as he left, he would have been recording this album. It's like, true. Cliff would have been in... Because he has writing credits. Like Dave has writing credits on this or one. Like so in, there must in have the been works. A, it yeah. must have been like a pretty, like during the recording of this album. For sure. And Cliff, Ooh, was, Cliff yeah. was recording this one. Sainty's gone quiet. I can, we've got him. Just, I'm just letting you think. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, are you, that sounds very convincing, Adam. I'm going to back you up. Oh, yeah, that's the lie, yeah. I reckon. All right, so number one, correct. Death Man Egg is the loudest album of all time. Yeah. That's hilarious. At 47 minutes, this is... Is Metallica's shortest yeah, studio album? Yeah, so yeah, you're both correct. <laughs> Dave Mustaine never asked Cliff Burton to join Megadeth. Yeah, that Too was easy. the lie. Thank you, Adam. Thank no you. Worries, mate. What's Two the, points uh, what, for you. What's the tally going? I'm gonna give like? you the tallies. Yes. Yeah, okay. we finally. So uh, we mentioned a few weeks ago that we just got to tally them up and see who's winning. And now I did it the other day. I put in the work. It actually didn't take long at all. Let's have a look. Okay, so after that, I am on five. Brad is on five. Let's and go. Adam is on nine. <laughs> so two truths and a lie tally. Crazy. Well ahead Detective of us Lindsay. two. I'm surprised that I'm not losing as well, Brad. Yeah, well, uh, I usually sometimes go the silly one. So yeah, maybe that's, that's why. Um, that's for the silly buggers. Yeah, because we're silly boys. But uh, yeah, well, <laughs> may the best man win. Yeah, that is correct. Is there a prize at the end? Is there an end date? Is I there an know. end date? <laughs> well, if yeah, it's true. Yeah, true. This is it's a pretty good segment, so it might not be a might not be getting the boot stays. just yet. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh cool. Let's do let's rate these albums. Okay. Let's, do let's it. rate them out of ten. I didn't think Jeez. of anything, but I'm gonna think right now on the spot. For Metallica, we're gonna do We're gonna do Cthulhu's <laughs> 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 and, uh, <laughs> and Megadeth, we're gonna do 11 guitar wait no that's that's confusing uh, yeah. Megadeth will do Holy Wars that punish you okay yeah. um, alright I'll go it. first yeah yeah. I'm going to talk myself in a number for Metallica out of 10 Cthulhu <laughs> 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 alright right off the bat this is not their best album I, th I reckon this is top 3 though Metallica yeah. albums but it's not their best 
The riffs are insane though, and I think the intensity on this album mm. is their is their best yeah. in terms of just like going for it. Because Kill 'Em All's pretty all over the shop, but yeah. they're they're going crazy. But this one's a lot more refined. Yeah, yeah. But there are some things that I listened to, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know what the go is there. But not much. Like that thing's sort of like little things, like background effects and weird, like yeah. Yeah, we like gotta, reverb. Gotta, I'm gonna gotta remember the time as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm we gonna can, go we can take that into a consideration. Cause, like, I love these songs. I'm gonna go a nine. Yeah, fuck really? it, I'm going a nine. Yeah, I'm going yeah. a nine. I was yeah. thinking eight, but like when it comes down to it, yeah, I love these songs, and I haven't listened to this album in full in a while, and I like loved these songs still because <laughs> they just go hard. They go so hard, and yeah. That's it. Nine out of ten nice. Cthulhu's for me, personally. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go. Yeah. Out of ten Cthulhu's. Yeah, I'm going to try and talk my way into something. I think it's like, it's definitely like, this is classic and iconic and it's like, they're so dialed in, I reckon, on this album. Mm. This and Master of Puppets are the most just like, yeah, heaps dialed, but this, I like, I, w- I just laugh and smile at this album with just Metallica in general and like thrash metal. It's just, I think it's just so funny how like epic and how serious it kind of is and like how stupidly fat and fast the riffage is. <laughs> but I just wouldn't listen to it in my spare time probably, mm. unfortunately. So, and maybe I should because it's always, it puts me in a good mood and um, brings a smile to my dial. Smile from ear to ear, you could say. Um, I'm gonna go <laughs> seven Cthulhu's. Mm. Seven Cthulhu's. All right, Adam. Yeah, I'm gonna back you up there with a a big seven Cthulhu's. Yeah. I uh, I really did like this is the first time I've listened to this in full. I had heard a lot of the tracks off this, the big tracks like Fight Fire with Fire, Ride the Lightning, and Poon the Bell Tolls, all that sort of stuff. But there were yeah, there were a few things where I was like could do like as i said before the fade outs <laughs> not a fan of that so many of them and there was a uh, there was a couple times where both i think both guitarists were playing like the same exact riff and i don't know why because you've got two guitarists there was sometimes like for, weirdly for a metallica album there were a couple times where there was like a little bit too much space between sounds <laughs> I don't know how to explain I get that. that. Like, no, I get but, it. Yeah, like, like yeah. maybe just because I'm used to nowadays, like a lot of guitarists, and you've always got like something's always going at at one point. There are a few times where I was like, that could have been a little bit more technical. Whereas Megadeth is a lot more technical, like int- kind of interesting as well. Interesting, yeah. yeah. There's there was a couple times, but um, and all the tracks were really long as well, <laughs> which <laughs> I'm just not used to anymore. My attention spans, crap house. So yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go seven. Uh, do appreciate where it's come from and the riffage and but yeah it's a seven no higher mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. cool 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 all right let's do megadeth rust in peace out of 10 what what was it <laughs> ten, <laughs> wars that uh, punish you or yeah, something? wars shit? that punish you yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> that's shit let's do out of 10 hangers yeah <laughs> 10 hangers yeah out of 10 hanger 18s all right yeah. so over the hangers. Speaking of hangers, Hangar 18 and Holy Wars Punishment Jew are like insanely good. Mm. Two of the best thrash metal, two of the best metal songs ever. Mm. Yeah. But this, the rest of the album, not so much. Mm. Like yeah. the vocals on this album are shit. Yeah. Like that's just a good word for it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The vocals bring nothing to it. Like no. I wouldn't want to listen, if Megadeth didn't have huge guitars, I'd, Oh, I don't know what they got going for them. Yeah, but they don't have anything else. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. This Maybe this album just didn't age well. I don't know. Mm. But for that, for the songs being pretty uninteresting, I'm going to go thinking a five or a six here, but mm. I'm thinking I'm going to go a six just because the first two songs are that good. Yep. So I'm going a six out of ten. Six out of ten hangers. Nice. Nice. Yep. Bradley? Um, I think, yeah, I'm probably going to go five. Five hangers in the dock. Um, 
in the dock. Is that is yeah. that it? Hangers like uh, aircraft carrier sort of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or in, no yeah. hangers? No, the place you put like planes. Hey, planes so, and shit. So yeah. it's a dock. Okay. Okay. You just yeah. said well, the dock in the dock. <laughs> my bad, boys. Dock in the dock. Fair name. Carry on. Um. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I just don't think this is apart from the yeah the two songs. Like it's not very memorable. Not very. It's not like a must listen for me. If maybe <laughs> those first two tracks are. That's about it. And you could summarize yeah. their whole discography in those two tracks from what I've heard. I haven't listened to it, but I presume you could. Um, <laughs> That's a bold call are, <laughs> from someone yeah. who hasn't listened to it. Yeah, not very good. Um, and, yep, pretty average. Not going to listen to this ever again. Apart from <laughs> the first two tracks, <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. You can't see myself listening to <laughs> Tornado of Souls or Dawn Patrol ever again. <laughs> I no. think so. <laughs> I have this on vinyl. <laughs> what what to go there? Like, holy shit. You're not flipping that record. You're going to play the first <laughs> no. two tracks. Oh, I'm keeping it, it forever in. and it will never get a spin. Yeah. That's all right. You should That's just right. do it when people are over and see what they do. Check this out. Check out this great track. <laughs> Infiltrate them. <laughs> all right, Adam. Yeah. Uh, I'm yet again going to follow you up with that on a five. Yeah. Um, sorry to copy you, Brad. That's all right. Um, but yeah, I, I do appreciate the audacity of this album. Um, but as it has been previously said, the vocals on this are shit house. Like they're very, <laughs> they're like they're like local metal band shit house. I reckon they're not that good. And um, and the lyrics, I said it before, the lyrics are like interesting, but I don't really understand how he. It just frustrated <laughs> me how nothing like rhymed or fit together. Like he was just fitting in words that don't need to be there. Anyway, and also the guitars were super impressive, but. Because this was my first listen, I can't remember anything from this album because it's all so different. That mm. yeah, there's nothing rememberable. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, just That's nothing repeats. Yeah. <laughs> nothing repeats, so I don't actually remember anything about yeah. what we've listened to, <laughs> 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 except for some of the cruddy lyrics. I, I know yeah. that some tracks had better guitar solos than others, but I don't really couldn't t- couldn't make any of the guitar solos. Yeah, anyway, five. <laughs> Pretty crap. There you have it. We have a clear winner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the first first For installment sure. of Metal Week, Metallica <laughs> has got 23 out of 30 for their album, Rather Lining. It's been Rust in Peace by Megadeth to a 16 <laughs> out of 30. And that album will rust in peace in terms of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you might have said this fact, but I, I left it out before. I was reading about Rust in Peace. Apparently the name... <laughs> Of that track came off the back of a bumper, like a bumper sticker on someone's yeah, car. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I read that. And Dave yeah. Mustaine went, "That's such a good name." <laughs> 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 made, oh, that, yeah. made that the album name and a song name. Rust in peace. <laughs> Rust in peace. Oh, <laughs> Jeez Louise. <Paul> Morris. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, well. To be f- to be fair though, like Metallica's first album was gonna be called Metal Up Your Ass and then they called it and then they called it Kill 'em All. <laughs> Kill 'em all so like, you know, Kill Kill 'em all like yeah. fits. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Rust in um, peace. I just thought of this. The episode's over, but I've just thought of it. I wonder if Megadeth would have been as big if Dave Mustaine wasn't in Metallica. Oh, he's pretty good at guitar, eh? Yeah, he's heaps good. <laughs> he's but heaps like, good. The the solos on this are like I think they always would have been big just on like I think I need to listen to their first few albums because this is their fourth album. Just like guitarists would have loved it. Yeah, that's then. true. Yeah. All the Shredmeisters. For sure. Would have, would that's have true. loved it. Yeah. yeah, cool. So Metallica gets the dub. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Me Well-deserved too. dub. Next week on the show, Joe and Nett from Canberra Band, Sputnik Sweetheart are joining Ooh, us. So stoked. Can. Super exciting. So happy to have them on. And we're doing... Two albums I've never listened to, but I'm very, very, very keen to. Wolf Alice's Visions of a Life is going up against Fontaine's DC, A Hero's Death. Let's go. Both of these albums, I have not really listened to either of these, but I'm a big fan of both of the albums before both of those. (laughs) Right. Okay. So, yeah, you know the bands then. I know the bands really well, but I just, not for like any other reason than just laziness. So, Mm. yeah, yeah, I'm very excited for an excuse to... For Diving. sure. I yeah, that's saw, sick. I saw Wolf Owls at Splendor last year and they were maybe my favourite act of yeah. the whole weekend. Yeah. Space that's and so Time good. off that album. Oh my God. That was my you, song of the year last year. Do you listen to the first album? Yeah. Yeah. 
First but, album's so good. There's a yeah. track of that. I can't remember what scary, it's called, hey? but the singer just actually screams. Like, not yeah. even like a metal <laughs> scream. Like she's like It demonic. sounds like she's in pain. And it, <laughs> it sends shivers down your spine, honestly. It's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Very sick. Very keen. Yeah. Sick. Right. That's so good. And then, so, after that, after next week, we have... Australian Music Month of the month Ooh. of November and we're going to be doing five weeks straight of Aussie albums so that's going to be so cool so next so week cool. last two international acts before we get into some uh, some bloody down under tunes mate until we get into Cold I'm Chisel going. every single week <laughs> Cold can't Chisel can't wait God, it's yes good boys Kaysan V yes. Flame Trace <laughs> alright let's <laughs> Men at work thank you thank you so much What's for the cool? first metal week we did yeah. it Two yeah. albums that didn't score good. that high, but we still did it. Metal Week was here. Metal. It's done. It's gone. Sputnik Sweetheart, Joe and Ned, they're on next week. Woo. See you, Brad. See you, Adam. We'll see yeah. you all yeah. later. Join the Facebook group. We love you all.